Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you episode number 11 of uh, Three Beers and Whiskey featuring icons of industry. Here's beer number one. All right, hi everybody, Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin. Tonight, another episode of Three Beers and Whiskey. We have with us in the house icons of industry so thank you very much for joining us this evening um do you want to go ahead and give us a little introduction of yourselves for uh, everybody out there watching and we've got a whole bunch of people in the house too tonight so many cameras. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look straight in the straight in that straight bright light into the there. bright light look into the light <laughs> hi i'm Loki. i play bass hi i'm roberto i play guitar and vocals i am shantae janelle i play keys and we are missing drummer. We're missing yes. a drummer. Hey, Johnny, what's up? Johnny, we miss yeah. you. He couldn't make it. So. That's that's all right. You know that happens. Unfortunately, yeah. sometimes we get some people sit down with us, and it's one or two are part of the band. So, yeah. um, so we've got. Uh, you know, if you're following the show or following us, threebeersandwhiskey.com. Jump over to the YouTube page. The little red button that says subscribe. Please hit it. That makes us all feel really good. Um, and then, uh, for following you guys, where can uh, people out there in the in the world follow Icons of At Industry? At Icons of Industry. So just one Icons of Industry. Okay, very on good. Facebook, um, uh, Instagram, stuff like that. Yeah. Merchandise, CDs. Well, we'll talk about CDs. Yeah. Yeah. EP yeah. coming yeah. up. Yeah. Right now. Um, and then, uh, so beers are getting poured. We've got the lovely Miss Marissa Cruz Tompkins joining us this evening as well, uh, doing uh, the beer and. She'll be filtering in any questions y'all have from the internet. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube and you have some questions, type it up, send the question, comments over, and Ms. Cruz will jump in, uh, interrupt us appropriately at any time to, to throw down what your thoughts are. Um, and so we've got a couple of special things happening this evening. Um, you know, I'm going to be doing the traditional three beers and whiskey. The band has actually graciously, first time we're doing this, very cool, they're actually... Um, donating their three beers and whiskey to the folks that are sitting in the house. So we're still going to pour the beers. We're still going to have some whiskey, but uh, we'll be joined by people you can't see in the back that are going to be uh, doing the beer with us and the whiskey. So um, thank you all very much. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll see uh, how that works out. Yeah, y'all can clap if you're going to have a beer. <laughs> um, so... So what do we have yeah. going on? Uh, EP. EP. I, I, yeah. I, I saw that on, right. on Facebook. Exactly. So what's going on? So right now we've, uh, we're working on a demo actually. So we want okay. to get an uh, EPK going. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we want to do was um, get some music in an EPK. Okay. So we're going to focus on that. And those are songs that we've already, we've done one show. So we're actually, we're relatively new. At the uh, Carousel Lounge. At the Carousel Lounge. Yes. Yeah, so that was our first show. We, you mm -hmm. know, it went good. and. Uh, we worked on some, we wanted to, to get some pressure, right? So like, how do we get going quick? So let's book a show. We didn't yeah. have any material. Right. So really? Let's book yes. a show yes. and that'll help us get motivated. <laughs> yeah, we, got, we got two months to put up. Yeah. You know, 30 okay. minutes. So he you, had, you had just joined. Yeah. So yeah. we said, let's book a show and then it'll help us go. Mm -hmm. So we did that. We booked a show and then it was like, like a month or something? Yeah, we had like a month. Like a month, right? Put right. together so some we, tunes we just, Yeah, and everyone pulling out their catalogs because you know, uh, all of us have uh, other things, uh, projects, yeah, right? There's a lot of conversation right. to have about right. all of the yeah. history yeah. Exactly. Uh, so behind it. Exactly, so we, everyone kind of pulled some material from their respective catalogs mm -hmm. and then we just uh, kind of made the icons. So, you know, Shantae's jazz and gospel, yep. right? Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny's Latin fusion, yep. you know, Loki does all sorts of stuff. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. God bless those you know bass players. Yeah. 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 So, so we just kind of got, found some material. I got some old icons of material. Mm -hmm. um, and we just went to the woodshed and just kind of re rehearsed yeah. it. And then boom, we did it. And we, we pulled it off. Three Start songs, right? Setting, yeah, two. Exactly. Some, some clubs. Cl okay, so yeah. we want, we want uh, my view, and I think, a lot of share is that if, when we play live, mm -hmm. it really helps the chemistry develop. Always. So when we're playing in front of people, playing you know, uh, on stage, it just kind of helps really keep us on our toes. And yeah. So we want to do some shows, but but not so many because we want to do that EP, EP that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So we're writing new material. We've got one song that we kind of work together as a band that we're okay. gonna do tonight. Okay. And then we're working on just right now we're just bringing uh, riffs to the table, you know, ideas, right? Yeah. Yeah. She'll send us a, like a keyboard. Uh, piece and then we'll yeah. just 
well, does it work? And then we, when we get together, we just kind of, boom, we just throw it out there and we just start jamming and improvising. And we record every session, yes, right? Yes, yes. She loves to record everything, so. So we're in that process of trying to combine our sounds and see what comes out of that. Yeah. So we're still in that beginning stage of, I don't, you know, when you form a new band, everyone has a different background. So we're trying to yes. see the best way to present the music as a band, a new band. And so, so one of a, somebody that was uh, about a month ago had a show and and what you were saying, and to, to piggyback on what you were saying also, the funny thing that he talked about was working with other musicians and when you, um, you know, you're solid in what you do and when you work with somebody else that's a good musician but not the same style or yeah, not right. in the same as yes. you, you know, to be a good musician, you have yes. to be able to build on what they're doing or be able to back off yeah. of like yes. what so, you do so that you can build them up and, and everything then blends together. I have to cut down on my jazz chords. Well, remember when yeah. Yeah. there was yeah. time we were practicing with her songs, mm -hmm. jazz, and then remember Johnny in my face, like, right, yes. we're like deer in the headlights, like, uh, what do I play here? Because uh, usually I can come up with something, right? And then she's doing her, her jazz thing, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to play. Like, uh, <laughs> nothing, was, nothing was coming out. And then Johnny was like frozen too. You like, should have seen her face. Yes, yes. Jazz, jazz and, and, that was hard. and classical, it's like, you know, if, if, if you have the foundation of that, but man, if you don't, somebody else is playing it, they're like, yeah, jump in. And you're like, oh, yeah, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so we just made a fusion. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to uh, be so like, want to be traditional jazz. I'm just going to do some, you know, like, I don't know, like the edge or like, you know, some yes kind of stuff. I'm, yeah. I'm really big nice. on the, the prog stuff, you know, like Steve Howe and all that. So I want to bring that kind of angle to it. And that's what I did. So. We were introduced to each other via Facebook. Oh, right. All powerful <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> and it wasn't um, actually Three Beers and Whiskey. No, no, it, it was, was uh, Live Music in Austin. Live Music in Austin. And because you, uh, did, I was trying to promote the Carousel yeah, Live Show. No, it was for the yeah. Carousel Live Show. I got that and I looked at it and... and you know, most of the time, if I know who the band is, it's pretty easy for me to just go click check and repost it, and then I'll I'll blast it out to the other pages, no problem. And but this was I was like, I have no idea who this, this is. All brand new to me, mm -hmm. and so I did a couple of looks, and I went, all right, cool. And then I reposted it, and then you know, you're like, hey, thanks. Like, yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. But how did you? Did you just start doing a random? So how did you run into three uh, to think, live music in Austin? I didn't even talk to you. I think you found me on someone else's post. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're basically looking for band. I got a band. Oh, okay, great. Sure. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> that or Craigslist. Yeah, which I get a lot of people right. like. I, I just, found my guitar I just player. Into somebody yeah, else's yeah. Post and I'm like, oh, come on. I jack somebody's oh. post and they're like, oh, okay. So you just ran them on. You ran across me on. Yeah, I did. So uh, yeah, I was just looking for like Austin music. Right, so I just went to the Facebook and I typed in Austin like, music, yeah. right? So several pages came up, your page came up. So, I just so finally after 10 years, that's that's all I wanted, was one person one to just guy. do a search that's and find me. Guy. Okay, this is it now, this show I'm retiring, we are done. So no, that's how awesome. that's how yeah. yeah. so that. And then, you know, I, I didn't make it to the show, I, because... Right. Well, we yeah, my mom Austin. was there. Yeah. So that was like that's, that's our fan base. My mom's our fan. Base. <laughs> <laughs> that, those are great when you go yeah. to those shows and you're like, all right, there's 12 people in the crowd. The band's yeah. playing at midnight, and 11 of those people are the other bands, and I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's the top there's mom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so effectively, this is a project that you I started. You started. Yes. Okay. So and then yeah. who came in behind? Who who was your first Johnny? Was it jo okay, right. Johnny? So, Johnny? so how did you meet? So Johnny and I uh, were friends since we were kids. So we both grew up in Laredo, Texas, right? So we were in Radio. kind of we were lots of different bands together. Yeah. You know, met a lot of people down there. And then we moved to Austin almost at the same time, but we kind of had our separate paths. Sure. And uh, so he did his thing. He was actually in uh, Grupo Fantasma. He's the drummer from Grupo, right? Yep. So, um, yeah, so brown out and stuff. Brown out. So, uh, oh, you didn't know that, did you? I was like, right, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Johnny did his thing, right? right? You know, uh, and then years went on. I did my thing. Uh, and then I just kind of said, hey, I, don't, I didn't have a band. So I said, I, was, I took it some time off and everything. You so showed that itch in your soul. Yeah, so I want to write some music. I want to play some music. So I just said, 
what buddies do I have? So I just looked up Johnny on Facebook and said, hey, bro, what are you doing, man? He's like, dude, I'm not doing anything right now. So perfect timing. Faith, man. How the stars so walk him up. Right? Yeah. right? I went to his house, and uh, we just started jamming. Uh, Wilkie wasn't there yet. Shantae wasn't there yet. Right. We, I had another friend of mine, Robert, on bass. Mm -hmm. We Actually, we have a, a, a dirty key before that that's on, on Spotify and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's kind of more kind of rock, old school. Is that under what? Icons of Industry. It's okay. called Alchemy Waves. That might be so it's a little, four song EP. That might be that's all classic rock too. stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. So I did that EP with some friends, mm -hmm. right? So then I, then I hooked up with Johnny, and then the bass player from that EP was kind of jamming with us. So then he, but he couldn't, it didn't work out for him. So I said I need to start finding some people, and then then I found Wilkie was the next guy I found. So it was just a bootlegged in somebody else's stream yeah. and jumped so in. What <laughs> What's up? So what happened? I just I did, yeah. What well, you did in my house? Remember? Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he, Hits me up on Messenger and says, uh, you know, I saw your post. I'm making a band, you know, kind of proggy, rocky stuff. Come over. I'm like, all right, cool. Want to come to his house? And we're jamming on stuff. Sounds like, you know, Rush and old Genesis. And I, I was right in the room. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, got it. Uh, I like uh, your picture. Had you had the stand up. Oh, yes. oh, so I was like, nice. I, yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool, right? Yeah. So we came cool. brought his, uh, I think you brought your no, you brought an electric bass that day. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. we just we just were just playing around mm -hmm. and then right. Like, our, our influences really lined up. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. So. so what did you, what bands, or did you have any bands that you were in here in Austin, or? Um, yeah, right now I'm in, uh, well, so I've only been here since August. Really? From, yeah. Okay, yeah. from where? I moved from California, but that's not my fault. You got to Texas as quick as you could. Yeah. So, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so I moved here, uh, what, middle of August, and, uh, you know, immediately started looking for bands, and some of them didn't pan out, but I uh, found this one, and I'm also in another one, uh, starting up, it's called ABXY, look for them on YouTube, or YouTube, YouTube's over yeah. there. <laughs> uh, it, again, like, it's kind of starting up, we're, cool. getting, we're getting some stuff going, um, but they're not here, so I don't want to talk about them. No, 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 that's right. <laughs> but no, no, that's, that's the well, love of the awesome music right. scene, yeah. is that, you know, a lot of times, it's not just one project that somebody's yeah. in, there's multiple projects. Um, or if, you know, if you throw in and you throw heart and soul into this one, but, you know, you're known as a bass player, you end up getting picked up and somebody says, hey, I got a show, can you come over here and play on this one? Yeah. Bass players are... So, Robert, earlier you were talking about your influences, so yeah. who are your influences? Uh, in, in guitar, for guitar, I mean, the early stuff would be like, you know, uh, Jimmy Page, right, Steve Howe, um, Michael Hedges, things like guys like that. Oh, I see. You know, I'm Trevor Rabin, uh, and uh, the guy from the the police. You know, what's his name? Uh, not uh, Sting. Sting was based. Uh, no, 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 Andy Summers. Summers Andy, Andy Summers. Yeah. So guys like that. So well, he wasn't the so, drummer, was he? No, no. That's yeah, uh, Stu Cope. Stu Cope. Yeah. Stu Cope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, guys like that. Nerdy oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, right. I'm more of a. Uh, I can play some lead guitar, but I, I like to approach the guitar from a textural perspective, like uh, atmosphere and like texture, not nice. not just like not text solos. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of my thing. Just trying to paint a, a picture or something and tell a story with the music. Cool. So with that, like, what what do you describe your your sound as for for your for, for icons? Fans? For icons, for I mean, this you, I think Wilkie coined it. Yeah, uh, I came up with heavy fusion. Heavy fusion, because people were yeah. asking them, like, what's your sound, right? Yeah, and then we, we have some you know gospel, uh, jazzy stuff, and then we have some hard rock stuff. We have some Latin stuff. We have some funk stuff. So it's kind of. See, that's sort of so heavy fusion, fusion, yeah. but then with you know you can bang your head. It's heavy, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, very good. And so we come to you. Yes. So you got the jazz gospel background. Yes. So okay. I started playing in the church uh, keyboard when I was twelve years old here okay. in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. so, so about four or five there, years ago, then. Yeah, I think that. So from there, I grew up producing and writing, um, and then when I wrote the songs, I realized, hey, these are personal to me, I don't want to give these away, so <laughs> I said, I'm going to be an artist, so I released my own project, um, and I produced and write, and wrote, wrote I did all, um, all the instruments, all the production, all of that, and on your own, on my own yes, wow. so okay. That's... Um, from there, I'm kind of branching out. Um, mm -hmm. As you see, I'm in a rock group. That's very. And then, good. how did you? Um, so yeah, how did yeah. that just like you know 
how did we come together? Yes. Yeah, Facebook. So I made a post. Uh, it was in a, a group on yes. Facebook. I think I was promoting. Yeah, well, you were looking for people for your. You know what? I was actually trying to start my own. Yeah. Name. Yes. No. I was looking to start my own man, and he hit me up and said, "Hey." He slowed that like, roll just a little bit. Yes. Said, While you're looking for your, own, come on over right. here. Right. He said, "Hey, yeah. do you want to jam?" And you yeah. know, he sent me some of his tracks, and I love them. And Good. Yeah. Next thing I know, we're doing a show. Yeah, so. we're doing a show. All of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. Will Tompkins, from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much.